เลยจึงยืมเฮ้ยทุกคนได้ยินฉันใช่ไหมใช่ขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับ Very good, very good. That's good. <laughs> All right, very good. What about you, Alejandro? How was your weekend? Um, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> yeah. Did you go out? You didn't, or you didn't go out? Um, no, I didn't. I actually just stayed here, home, and watching. Oh my god. <laughs> that's well. Yeah, I was gonna say that's sad. But that's actually what I did. So, <laughs> right. So good job there. But it's sad yeah. though, because you know, very good. I actually, you know, I actually had to work um, for a while though. What about you, Armando? How was your weekend? It was fine. I didn't do anything special. I just watched TV, read, and eat. And eight. Eight. Okay. All right. Hey, that's. That's 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 awesome, man. All right, and uh, what about you, Lydia? What are you doing your weekend? All fine. I do a lot of things. I ate all my favorite food, so it was a good weekend. Wow, what is that favorite food that you that you're talking about? Ice cream, um, <laughs> junk food. So it's like my free days of healthy food. So, you mean healthy or unhealthy? Ladies, those are like your. Oh, okay. <laughs> For me, it was All right. unhealthy food. All right, very good. Okay. All right, hold on, guys. Let me send the last message here. Hey, that's cool. So you don't you don't eat like that during the weekend. I mean, during the week. Yeah, I eat like that, but not frequently. So I love healthy food, but I love junk food, and junk food is too bad for my. Tommy, so okay. I try to to care my food about it, but but this weekend was was one of the, of those days that I ate what I want. All right, okay. Well, it's good, you know, it's good. Yeah. Uh, it seems like you're one of those people who like to take care of their body. All right, which is actually, guys, the same as I just said. It's actually, you know, the it's actually the um the topic that we're going to continue with today, right? Uh, but good job, okay? Uh, that's that's nice to know, Lydia, okay? It's good that you take care of your body. All right, of your body. Uh, what about you, Ellie? How was your weekend? Good, teacher. Working, always. Working. Do you do you have any rest day? Guys, if you... If, like, if not, you not exactly. Huh? Mm, no, because I'm on... I'm on, uh, this, this is my business. <laughs> so oh, okay. I, I decided when I took a rest. Oh, so you have your own business. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right, what about you, Miguel? How was your, how was your weekend? Sort of well, sort of bad, sort of okay. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah I had uh, a little bit of time to draw something. And uh, I had another pair of projects. I was working on. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So, uh, very good. Welcome aboard, guys. Okay. Nice to have you here. So, let's get started. All right. I'm, I'm glad that you had a good weekend. All right, guys. So, let's get back to reduced relative, uh, reduced relative, relative clauses, guys. Okay. Very good, guys. So, uh, I think, Miguel. All right. So, let's do a recap of what we saw last week, guys. Okay. All right, so why do we call it uh, reduced relative clauses, guys? Oh, my God, this is, hold on. So what are we actually reducing, uh, Miguel? Uh, well, a relative clause, which is a clause that depends on another. Okay. 
All right, very good. But uh, what are we reducing? What is a relative pronoun? Do you remember the relative pronouns, guys? Hey, welcome. Idalia, nice to see you again. Woohoo! You're alive. <laughs> nice to see you. How are you, Dalia? I'm good, thank you. What, what happened, do I do? What happened to you last, last week? I'm, I'm good, I'm good, thank you for asking. What happened to you last I'm week? I'm sorry, I was uh, Yeah, I was good. I'm really sorry. It's okay, it's okay, right? I'm glad that you're here. Oh, guys, before I forget, I'm sorry. Uh, guys, the completion of the platform, okay? Please, guys, please, 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 please complete the platform, okay? All right, uh, the reason why, guys, okay, it's because of this. Um, pretty much what we want to do is that we want to start class, you know, we want to start the next module next week, right? So if people don't finish the platform by the day they're supposed to, then we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to uh, hold the, the, you know, the, the, the beginning of the, the next module a little bit longer, you know? So, so that, that's the reason why, why, you know, that's the reason why I guess we're pushing, you know, for you to finish the platform, right? Other than that, guys, <clears throat> you're doing good. <coughs> All right, guys, so we're talking about two classes. We put them together when we usually put them together with, how do we call these guys? David, how do we call that? Hmm. For now? Very like good. Now. Yeah. Right. For it's now. pronouns, okay? Relative um, pronouns, okay? So now remember, guys, in order to get rid of them, okay, we have to have. What do we call this, Miguel? A subject. Okay. Yeah, subject. And, All right. Uh, but. A verb right after the pronoun. Very good, but this is, you know, this is the first clause, and this is the first clause, and this is the second clause, right? So remember, we say we can use any noun that we want, guys. Okay, remember the, remember what I told you. Okay, we can use any noun, right? Plus, all right, the reduced, I mean, not not the reduced, the relative uh, pronoun plus. Plus what, guys? Plus is. Okay, it's plus the verb to be, right? Or let's just call it is. Okay. All right. All right, so now plus uh, relative pronoun plus is plus what else? Complement. Okay. All right. All right, so we use a complement. So we're seeing, right, someone who is a doctor uh, will be able to, uh, to, to heal you, right? Very good. So now, guys, we're going to see the second part of this, right? So let's check this out, guys, okay? This is what we have not seen. All right, uh, let's see. Dali, help me read the first, ex uh, I mean, this example. The second one? Yes. Um, you can also draw who that and change the verb to the gerund. All right, you can change the verb for a gerund. Okay, very good. So let's take a look at the first example, guys. Okay, um, help me read Lydia. All right, let's take a look at the first example. Okay, the first example of the first part of this one. Uh, the the one that um. Okay. Yeah, this one right here. Someone who needs job security might not want to be just musician. Might not want to be a jazz musician, right? Needing job security. So basically, guys, all okay, all of this, okay. So pretty much this, guys, okay. We can change that for a gerund. We can change that for a gerund. Very good. Okay. So last time, guys, we said that you can say, for example, uh, Alejandra, give me a name. Give me, give me a noun, Alejandra. Um, she. Okay. 
All right, but but a noun, okay, not a pronoun. A noun. You can say a dog. Uh, uh -huh. Um, the, the horse. Okay, a horse. Okay, let's use a horse. A horse. All right, relative pronoun. That is, that is what, guys? Miguel. Well bred. Okay, that is. Uh, you mean the well feed? Or feed well, well feed I'm sorry. No, it's well bred. It's... Or you, you breathe, you mean the breathe? You breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who? Okay, so a horse that is. Okay, of a uh, good breathe. I think it's not like that. How do you spell it? No, I think it's like think that. It's okay. No, I think yeah. it's written like that. I had well, at least I have seen it written. Yeah, like that. it is like this. Okay, a horse that is of a good breed. What makes a good racer? Okay, makes a good racer. Very good job. Okay. Now remember, guys, in this sentence, right? How can we reduce this? Um, how can we reduce this? Um, Elizabeth, I mean Ellie. Hello. Yes. Yeah, so, how can we reduce this sentence? Um, a horse is so a we have man. a horse that is of a good breed makes a good racer. What what, what 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 it mean breed? I don't know. Breed is um, breed is a uh, race. Okay. Um, you said that we need a subject and a verb and. I don't, I can't find a way to reduce this one. All right. So, so, so guys, where is the where is the time clause here? I mean, I mean, not the time clause, guys. Where is the where is the relative pronoun here? Idalia, where do you see the relative pronoun here? That is. Very good. That is very good. Okay. All right. So that plus the verb be, guys. Okay. So we get rid of that. Can we get rid of that? Can we get rid of this right here? What do you think, Idalia? Yeah, you can do it, but um, that is of a good breed. So if I get rid of this, okay, if I get rid of the relative pronoun, that right, makes sense. and the that verb be, does it mean the same, or it doesn't make sense? No. No? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> does it or does it not? <laughs> A horse of a good breed makes a good racer. It doesn't change. Very good. All right. Yes. Uh, it does make. Okay. It does make sense, right? Okay. So, uh, yes, we can use it like that, right? It has the same meaning. Okay. So that's what we were seeing last week, Italian. All right. Now, all right. So what this is saying, guys, is that we can use a gerund instead of uh, uh, after after the verb uh, be, guys. Okay. So instead of saying a horse that is a good breed makes a good racer, how could we how could we transform this into a gerund, Miguel? Um, actually, I think this one is an example of the first one. Well, it falls in a it doesn't work that well with the second method at the very least, as far as I know. Okay, all right. So you say that. We would not be able to transform this. Okay, let's let's try it. Okay, so say that of a good breed only. Okay, a horse of a good breed. Okay. Okay, a horse of a good breed makes a good racer. All right. What about what about if we change? You know, what about if we change the type of um the type of verb? Right. So if you notice here, guys, okay, in the second example, all right, in the second example, we are not, what is the verb that, that is, that we're not using here anymore, guys? Take a look at this. Be. Okay, very good. Okay, we're not using the verb be anymore, right? All right, so in this case, guys, if you want to reduce that, this is a, the example that we were seeing last time. Uh, remember that we couldn't reduce the first one because we we're using a different verb. So if you're not going to use the verb be, guys, all right, you can use the ing for, uh, form of the verb. So let's try. All right, let's talk about a horse again, okay? A horse that... All right, remember that we're talking about an animal now, all right? So that's not going to be who. 
So a I horse like that, that has, very good. You like poop. Very good. So a horse that has what? A good breed. It can be. It can be basically the same sentence. Okay, a horse that, but you can say a good breed, man. All right, let's let's try to use uh, the different sentences. Pretty mane. A horse that has a pretty name. <laughs> no, mane. Mane. Okay. Uh -huh, a horse that has a pretty, uh, a pretty name, mane. Needs a lot of care. Okay, needs a lot of care. Okay. All right, very good. So, now check this out, guys. It is exactly the same thing. Now, the only thing that changes, all right, the only thing that changes here will be the verb, the verb in, oh, my God, that doesn't make sense. Okay. All right, very good. So, the only thing that changes, guys, I'm going to type it in here, okay? A horse, a horse what? That has a good main look let's change this to looks very healthy all right all right so now a little care for the hair <laughs> all right very good all right so now if we want to get rid of if we want to get rid of the relative um of the relative pronoun guys which is this one right here what do i have to do i have to transform it into an ig form i have to transform it into into what guys ing form i have to transform it into an ing form okay so how will you do it uh alejandra let's try it um the horse one right yeah uh -huh. a horse mm -hmm. remember mm -hmm. that we're gonna remove the relative yeah. pronoun right that uh-huh mm -hmm. a horse that is having sorry the horse that is having a good almost horse. almost remember having. that okay She's very good having uh-huh having a good and looks very healthy looks very healthy okay a horse having a good mane looks very healthy okay very good you just reduce a relative pronoun okay now, the only thing, guys, okay, um, that, all right, there is a rule, guys, okay, this is having, guys, okay, um, although, notice something, okay, although this is a stated verb, we can still use an ing form here, okay, and it would be absolutely okay, all right, very good, guys, okay, so do my favor, guys, everybody, send me one example of a reduced time clause, I mean, of a reduced relative um of a reduced um relative clause guys all right such as the one that i sent you here okay all right actually send me one and one okay i want you to send me an example using the relative pronoun and an example using the reduced relative pronoun all right with the gerund okay so let me give you another example uh idalia give me another noun um an student a what an student Okay, a student, okay? A student. A student right. who... You're good, you're good, you're good. Continue. Love the... Who what? Who loves? Who loves? Who loves reading? Okay, a, uh, okay, a student who loves reading. May have good. Um, May have good. How do you say calificaciones? Great, okay. Okay, a student, very good. A plus, a plus for Italy, guys. Good job. Okay, good job. All right, so student who loves reading may have good grades. Okay. All right, so who'd like to try, guys? Who'd like to try to transform this sentence? <laughs> and let's change this to who loves to read okay it's okay but to read it will make more sense later all right uh-huh could it be someone who loves reading may have good grades okay you can say student okay a student who 
or a student? Uh, oh, I mean, you can say who loves to read or who loves reading. It's okay. Both of them are fine. All right. But I want I want you to reduce this sentence. Okay. Basically, we're not gonna use who. So how can I do it? Remember, using a gerund, right? So how can we do that? All right, very good, guys. So uh, I'm gonna pick then. All right, uh, Armando. All right, so try to do it. How can we reduce this? How can we reduce it? What well, the one of the student? Yes, the one of the student. I student loving. Very good. Read. Loving May to read. Right. May have good grades. Okay. Very good. All right. A student loving to read may have good grades. Okay. Perfect. Good job, man. Good, good, good job. Okay. Are right, you getting the hang of it? All right. Um, Alejandro, would you like to give me another example? Um, teacher, who has a question? I'm sorry. Yes. Me. All right, Dali. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alejandro. I uh, remember the you before. Huh? Yeah, I have a question. Tell I me. remember the you before said that we cannot say like loving or or having or needing. I don't know if I am right, or, but I remember. The, That's no, not... you said that we are not be able to say loving, loving. Uh -huh. That is not like. It, okay. not like. Let me ask. I know what you're asking. I know what you're asking. Okay, that's that's exactly. I just explained that. In, like I just I just explained that. That's those are called stated verbs, guys. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you cannot use them like that. You're right about that, Italia, Except in these cases. All right. That's okay. why if you see in the example, like need, for example, right? All right. So you can you can't say like needing, but um, in these type of scenarios, yes, you can. All right. So when you're using, uh, when you're reducing the relative pluses, then you can use them like that. Okay. So there are some exceptions. Uh, but yeah, most of the times, guys, you're not gonna be able to use stated verbs in ing because those are not action verbs, right? Uh, so yeah, you're right about that, Idalia. But need, right? Need is also an, a stated verb. And we can use it like that, right? Very good. All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's see Alejandra. Give me another example. Now let's use action verbs, guys. Okay. Let's stop using have or need or love. Okay. Let's use action verbs. Um. Someone. Someone. Um, dancing. A lot uh -huh. might have might have uh -huh. strong, strong muscles might have strong muscles very good okay good job Alejandro guys good 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 job okay David all right let's transform this into using a relative plus okay let's use a relative plus someone that is Someone that very good. Continue. You're good, man. That dance a lot might have strong muscles. Oh man, you're you're good. However, you're making one mistake. What is the mistake that he's making, guys? Uh, All right. Pollo campero para quien me diga, guys. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> he is yes. talking about a person. You need to use who. I think I don't know. He's Give me my boy. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, right? In the bird oh, hug. What is it, Adali? In the bird hug, it has it has to hug. Ah, uh, no, 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 guys. Dance. What is it? Dance. Very good. Dance. What's wrong with dance? 
it's an S and the at the end. Dances, guys. Dances. Third person, right? Very good. Oh. Who said it, guys? Who said no, it? Campero. Ooh, David, let me have Pollo Campero. Good job. <laughs> oh. Sure. Chef, right, you, hey, sure. hey, David, right? Be careful with third person mistakes, right? But the structure is good, guys. Someone that this dances a lot might have a, a, you know, might have strong muscles, right? Or someone dancing a lot might have strong muscles, okay? All right, guys, so give me one example, one of each, and I'm going to start checking your your uh, your answers, okay? All right, Miguel says, agacha player. Man, you always give me the, the weirdest sentences. All right, agacha player that plays to win will end with an empty wallet. <laughs> agacha player paying to win will end with an empty wallet. What is gacha, man? It's hell. But... <laughs> It's a sort of mobile game where you pull for getting characters and the stuff. Oh, okay. I have never heard of that, man. All right. All right. So I got Miguel, guys, Lydia, and David. Everybody else send your examples, okay? Lydia, uh, the girl who works. Okay. Remember, Lydia, third person, right? The girl who works, it should be who works, okay, at a bakery store. Very good, Lydia. All right. You got the idea, Lydia, because it is technically correct. All right, you're just missing the first example. You're just missing third person, but we also need a compliment. The, the girl who worked at a bakery store, right? We need we need the like the complete sentence, okay? But the conversion, right? The conversion of relative pronouns and in uh, gerunds are you know is is correct, okay? David, a girl that looks healthy does a lot of exercise. A girl looking healthy does a lot of exercise. Good job. All right, everybody else, keep sending me your examples. All right. So is this part clear, guys? So far, so good? Yeah, I think. All right, Alejandra, Idalia, Armando, Lydia, how do you feel about this part? Is it good, Alejandra, Armando? Yeah, it's understood. Yes, teacher, okay. I understand. What about you, Lydia? All right, Lydia okay. says... Uh -huh. Yes, I understand. Very good. The girl who works at, at a bakery store cooks very well. Okay, very good. Let's transform that. All right, uh, Armando, I'm missing your example. Elia, I'm missing your example. Alejandra, Idalia, I'm missing you guys' examples as well. All right. Okay. All right. A person, okay, a person that does yoga, yoga might be healthy. Okay. All right, so how would you transform that, Armando? Lydia says, a girl working at a bakery store cooks very well. Beautiful, Lydia. All right, you're just missing the article ah, there, though, but uh, aside from that, that's good. A person doing yoga might be healthy. Good job, okay? You transformed it perfectly. All right, we're just missing, missing uh, Alejandra, I guess. A person doing yoga might be healthy. Good job. All right. Armando, oh, well, that's the same. All right, very good, guys. Very, very good. All right, now let's take a look at the third example. All right, David, help me read, David. The third one, in many relative clauses, who that has can be replaced by with. Very good, okay. Now, in some scenarios, guys, we can replace, you know, the relative clause with the preposition with, okay? All right, now, what is that example, guys? Okay, let's say a person who has a good voice. So the same thing, right? So instead of using the ing form, we're gonna use with, okay? All right, let's say, for example, let's use another noun. Uh, David, give me another noun. Um. The boy. Okay, the boy. All right. Now, um, can we say the boy with a good heart? Can we say this? Yes. Okay, we can say the boy with a good heart is a nice person. All right. Can we say the boy? who has a good heart is a nice person can we say this guys doesn't mean the same 
No. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean the same. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it doesn't mean the same. But yeah, with songs like um, uh, with uh something physical, I don't know. Okay, what about yeah. if we say a person who has a good voice could be a good TV journalist? Isn't it the same as saying a person with a good voice could be a good TV journalist? So basically, guys, notice something here, okay? Oh, please basically, explain. Basically, we, we're saying who has, okay? Basically, who has or that has, okay, that has. We are replacing this by with with okay with all right we're replacing that with with okay and that's it all right that's the whole science behind it all right so give me Idalia, give me example number one okay using the relative pronoun do i have to read it the first one or no 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 i mean uh using this example okay using this example right here which one right. oh. The last this one? one, yes. Uh huh. Okay. Give me, give me your own example. Okay. A dog. A dog. Uh huh. Um, who has a good house? Okay, a dog. Well, actually, that because a dog is not a person, right? Okay, a dog that has a good a house. Has a good house. Mm. Could be happy. All right. Could be happy. Very good. Okay. All right. So now let's transform this into. All right. Uh, let's change. The, let's change this for the preposition with. Okay. Okay. So how will we do it? Uh huh. With a good house, could be happy. Nice. A plus for Italia. Woo! Good job, Italia. <laughs> Very good. All right. Cupoyo Campero. Even closer than before. Very good. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. All right, so who would like to give me another example, guys? Who would, who would like to try? Easy peasy, right? So who would like to try, guys? Let's let's have another example. Idalia, pick someone beautiful. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Oh. Just <laughs> speak so. Uh, um, Alejandra. Alejandra, let's go, Alejandra. All right, Alejandra, give me one example of each, please. Um, a rat. Uh, <laughs> a rat. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Okay, very good. Okay, a rat, uh huh? Un diputado, uh huh? A rat that has stolen uh, all right all right uh that has stolen um food cheese uh -huh. all right food yeah. uh -huh. cheese. or cheese okay <laughs> mm. it's um no um will not be hungry Will not, okay, will not be hungry. All right, let's see if we can transform this, okay? So how, okay. All right, actually, yes, we can transform this. All right, very good. All right, Alejandro, so let's transform it. Let's use the preposition with. A rat with stolen cheese will not be hungry. Beautiful, 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 okay? All right. So a rat with stolen, right? Stolen cheese will not be hungry. Very good. Okay, applause, guys. Very good, Alejandra. Good job, Ali. Good, good, good job. Okay. All right. I don't know why you're thinking about rats. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe you know, too much diputados on TV, right? <laughs> all right guys <laughs> all right very good guys very good okay all right so uh any questions guys any questions no questions okay very good let's continue then all right so all right so we can see other examples here guys okay all right 
Um, so uh, in the third example, guys, okay, we're using this as an ING with, you know, we're replacing this with an ING form. All right, so just to recap, guys, the first example, all right, okay, we use it with the verb to be, okay? The second example, we use it with any verb. The third example, okay, any verb. Well, actually, guys, no, that's it's not true, okay? Let's use that, that have or has, okay? Or who, guys? That or who? You know what? Now, hold on. That or who have or or has, okay? Very good. And this one, guys, the same thing, right? That or who plus have or has. All right, now, what does that mean, guys? Okay, the first one, remember? All right, we can only reduce the first one if he has, you know, the verb be, right? So an example of this, what will be, the, what will be an example of this, uh, Miguel? An example of be, of the verb yeah, to be? An ex yeah, an, ex yeah an, an example of using a reduced, uh, a reduced uh, pronoun with the verb be. Let's see. An individual. Very good. An individual who is. All right. Now notice, guys, who is, right? Very good. We have the verb be there. Who is? Good at woodworking. Good, good at what? You mean good, good at woodworking? Who is? Or carpentry. A good worker or carpenter uh-huh we carpent car hold on car panther right uh-huh can make their own their own furniture their own furniture okay all right very good so how would we how would we transform this an individual, continue. An individual. I think. No, in this case, well, in this case, it will be a, an individual being a good, because okay. say. Uh-huh. Being a good carpenter. Can being make a good carpenter. Their own furniture. Can make their own furniture. All right. Very good, but yes, you're right about that, okay? Yes, All right, so. a, it's the wrong one. All right, so we would, we would put, uh, we would put this down here, right? Very good. All right, so this is the ing form, right? So, an in Nine. an individual, okay, being a good carpenter, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then what? Can make. Can their make furniture. their own furniture. Good job. It sounds weird using their there. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. But what about the first one? All right. Who remembers, guys, the first example? What about reducing this type of relative pronouns? All right. Let's start with with a noun, right? Example right now. Let's use let's use someone. Someone that is someone that is um good. No. Okay. Yeah, what about this? Someone that is good at soccer will good. score a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So you can transform these guys by saying Someone to the soccer. Someone, right? Someone good at soccer will score a lot, okay? Very good. All right, and the last example, guys. All right, number three. Mm, uh -huh. Someone who has. Someone, uh-huh. Who has a dream? 
Who has a dream? Very good. Need to fight. Needs to fight. Okay. Very good, guys. So, all right. We can say this. We can say we can transform this by someone with a dream needs to fight. Okay. Yeah. Voila, guys. Okay. That's pretty much it. All right. All right, guys. So, any questions, guys? I see that you sent me some examples. Let's see. Idalia, a teacher who loves teaching might have good students. A teacher loving to teach might have good students. Okay, good job. A teacher who takes, all right, we're missing the third person verb there, uh, who takes care of themselves can have a long life, okay? A person who can take care of themselves will have a long life. All right, good job. All right, guys, I think that you are ready. Any questions, guys? Or so far, so good? So far, so good. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So uh, let's do exercise, guys. Let's do exercise number. I think it's all right. Four point two. Okay, I'll give you five minutes, guys, so we can complete these exercises, and then we'll get the answers together. Unless you have all completed them already. Have you all completed them? I already did them. What about you, David, Eli, Idalia, Lydia, Armando? Yeah. You have? Yes. Idalia, you have? Uh, no, no. Some of oh, them. Some of them. Okay, very good. All right, let's complete them right now. All right, let's go. All right. All right, your partner is coming, Idalia. Okay. That is the coolest ceiling that I've seen. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, it looks cool. What is that? Is that? What? Like the ceiling, you know, you know, the fan is attached to the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's <laughs> nice. But is that, I don't, I'm not sure what it is. Is that something like, is that like, like wood, like a wooden uh, surface hang, hanging from the, from the no, top no. of the ceiling? It's just the painting. Oh, oh okay. All right. Yeah. All right, very good. All right. That looks cool. All right. Very good. So let's continue. Let's continue with these ones, okay? Oh, you already did it too, Armando? No, but I, I'm doing it. I will help you. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Sounds Sounds good, man. Dude, it's almost the end of the year. Yes. I didn't feel it, man. It was like really, really. It went it by so, so, so it soon. Yeah. Short. yeah, man. Yeah, I, do you think that we're going to get hit by the hurricane? No, I don't think so because of the mountain here in El Salvador. Because of the mountain, yeah. huh? Yeah, it's sort of hard for a, a hurricane to hit hard here. Well, well, at least in Metapan. Met yes, it mostly came like rain. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah, it, that, that, that's where you know. Like our geology doesn't allow, you know, hurricanes or, or tornadoes, you know, things of the sort. But I mean, we're, it's supposed to rain, you know, at least, right? At least it does. Somehow. But it hasn't, it hasn't <laughs> rained, man. No. It's been really hot. Without we'll any probably rain. probably rain tomorrow or so. Probably. We'll yeah. See when the day comes. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I... Teacher, right. how do we pass the verb to be to... ING is being the verb the yes the 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 verb be the ing yeah. verb is being yes but for example people who are is people being mm -hmm. very good huh exactly people being Mm 
I'm gonna check with the other guys. Gotcha. Hello, guys. How are we doing? All good? Teacher, yeah. Sorry, teacher, but I can't turn off today the camera because I am not at home. So. It's okay. Okay. People clever or clever. Clevering? Yeah, clever. Clever. With that, the ING. Clever, clevering? Like that? Clever. Clever with that clever. ING. Clever, okay. Clever. Yes. Uh, like that? No, clever. Just clever. Doesn't change. Yeah. What is the meaning of that? Sorry. Very good. Beautiful, beautiful Spanish Google Translator. I'm so sorry, okay? It's I'm all right. Sorry. <laughs> no Spanish. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't think one time. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Mr. ING. Yeah. But this uh, is a video. This part. Now you can, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. I can hear you. David, yeah. are you we able to see the audio? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. He was it. He was telling me that he couldn't hear me like Good. Okay. Oh, they got you. Hey, I think I I think. Hi. Uh, give me a second because my internet. My freaking internet is low. Yeah, because I was talking with the te to the teacher and we were talking good and. Then we view. I don't know what happened. Yes, now I can hear you well. Okay. 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 We will do the four point two. Bad. Yeah. Which one? The one two. I was doing. Or the one I was doing or the one you were doing? This part right, David. The one that you're doing right now, guys, is the four point two, right? What? 4.2. Oh, yeah, yeah, 4.2, yes. <laughs> I, 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 um, it's okay. I was thinking of look at it. I had a different module. I was like, what? 4.2? No. Yeah, it's 4.2. <laughs> okay. I forgot that this section only has four. Yeah. I mean, this module only has four sections. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so did you guys finish? No. All right. Well, we're gonna go back and uh, and we're gonna finish it together, okay? Well, let me check. Okay. This is better. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Let's take a look at it together. All right. Where's this thing? All right, guys, so number one. So someone who hopes to be a chef should get the proper training. So let's reduce that. Someone hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. Very good, hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. 
Very good. All right, number two. Number two. Let's see number two. Anyone wanting to be an actor needs but talent. And okay. Anyone wanting to be to be an actor needs needs uh, both talent and luck, right? Good job. All right, number three. All right, number three, guys. What is number three? Comedy. A person working as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make for new ways to make people laugh. Okay, to make people laugh. Oh, you wrote it. You wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, I worry what? I didn't understand. <laughs> when you do this, guys, this is typing, okay? You type in. You don't say write. You say okay. type in, right? You're... You mean that I wrote it very fast? You mean that I typed it in very fast? No. Oh, I mistyped it. Yeah, you did a mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, very good. All right, so person working. Okay, yeah, I corrected it. Uh, number four, guys. People clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make a good, good detectives. Very good. People, all right, people clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make a, I mean, would make what? Good detectives. Okay. Good job. Number five. All right. Let's take a look at number five. Anyone dreaming of becoming a champion? I don't know how to say athlete. A athlete. A champion athlete. 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 Huh? Has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. All right. Number six. Someone responsible for a larger staff has right. to be able. To Someone be responsible for scaling. Okay, for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. All right, sounds good. Let's see. There you go, guys. The only wrong here is number three. A person working. As a comedian is always looking for new, oh, for new, what? For new always. <laughs> for new ways, I'm sorry, for new ways. All right, good job. That should be. All right, there was another of there. Very good, guys. Woo, good job. High five to you. <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to continue with this part tomorrow. Um, we only have three days left, guys. Don't miss class, guys, okay, because... We're going to have information regarding the next module. Um, remember to finish the platform. Like, the sooner you finish the platform, the sooner you finish the platform, guys, the sooner we're going to start, you know, the next module, right? So I haven't finished, but I already <laughs> cleared the 80% of the list. All, right. <laughs> All right. Well, get, get 100, guys. Okay. Don't get 80. I'm get trying. 100. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. If you have any questions, guys, hit me up on WhatsApp. Do you have any questions right now, guys, before we go? <laughs> All right. In that case, guys, okay, uh, I'll let you go. I'll prepare the – well, I have another class right now. But thank you, guys. Thank you guys for coming. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See, see you guys. tomorrow. Have a nice night. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.